Hi guys, it's Saturday afternoon and uh, it's just a nice calm day, really relaxing. Mail call! <laughs> Fall in! <laughs> Fall in for mail call. Fall out, fall up, whatever. We got mail, folks. We got mail. You got to love this. This is good. I'm telling you, this is good. And we'll start off with this one. Can you see this shirt? It's a hand reaching out for a beer right here. 30, beer 30. You got it? Beer 30. <laughs> Whoever said something like that, I can't imagine. Huh? But that is too cool. I mean, that hand looks like it's really reaching out. That, that is well done. And yeah, shirt fits. Okay, thank you. But anyway, it came from Amazon, just a package. And it says Rusty, blah, blah, blah. P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas 78639, but there was no card, no nothing, so I don't know who did it, but whoever it was, give yourself a pat on the back and a thumbs up and all that stuff, and uh, we will do that in a minute. And I do appreciate, this is really neat, it's not quite beer 30 yet, it's a little early, but within a, I'll keep this shirt on, okay, because it's getting close. And, and whenever it's beer 30, I will put on my beer 30 shirt and proceed to beer. <laughs> anyway, mail call! <laughs> oh, golly. Then I got another one. And what's, let me tell you something about these things I got in the mail, both of them. And this applies to both of them equally. You know, it's one thing to have a kind thought, you know, that you're going to do something for somebody. That's one step. The next step is to follow through and do it. All right, how many times have you really thought, well, you know, I think I'll do this for old so-and-so, or I think I'll do that, but you never get around to it, all right? You never do it, it never happens. How many people are that way? A lot. There are very few doers and a lot of, and I'm that way, I have to tell you, I'll come up with something, of course, my age, I'll forget it. <laughs> I don't write it down or do it right now. But isn't that neat? Beer 30? I mean, is that cool? Huh? I mean, that hand looks real, doesn't it? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> yeah, dog. No. I dog. No. Anyway, so that's... <laughs> yeah, I, thank you very much. I don't know who it was, but anyway. And this, again, this applies to both of them. I mean, this is so neat. But anyway, then I get a, uh, a package, and the poor old moth got ran out. I mean, it cost them a fortune to mail this stuff because they sent priority mail with a tracking number and all kinds of stuff. And this comes from Rhonda in Tennessee. And uh, y you're going to be impressed uh, when you see what it is. I, I was impressed. You know, what, you know, I don't have any pictures, okay? And I haven't had for a long time uh, inside my home. I don't have a picture of my mother, my father, my grandpa, n none of that. I have none of that, none of that. And there's no special reason. I liked them a lot. I mean, we, we, my parents and I were good friends. I mean, I think I think they did a great job of raising us best they could. And, uh, you know, I just never got into the family photo stuff, okay? And uh, so I don't keep any pictures around. And, and it it's just the way I am. I don't know why. It's not to be rude or whatever. It's just the way I am. I just don't, something I don't choose to do. Anyway, enough said about that. Going to number two now. We have the brick brown envelope and it says this is dated October the 31st got a little smiley face on it see up there it's got a little smiling face and it says trick or treat in this whoa PO package in this package you will find three photos of rusty 78609 and I did why big letter why uh, because Rusty has three boys, two sons and a grandson, that is correct, who will someday want a picture of the old man. Possibly. Uh, whether you show the photo on YouTube or not makes no difference, but I do hope you will tuck them in a place where your son will find them someday. It's a great picture of you, Rusty, and only they... and and they will be happy to have it. Just another YouTube viewer, viewer 
run. But anyway, yeah, that that is, yeah, she's got duct tape. Yeah, but what she did, I'll show you the pictures now. I mean, they're all the same. There's three like this, and she's got little frames and stuff. There's a little frame, the little thing comes off, and you can set it down. But anyway, there it is. It's from one of my videos that I did on October the, I think it's the 16th. Anyway, it's about old friends, and she uh, somehow managed to pull that frame out. And uh, I'm getting a little glare in there. Maybe you can't see it too good. Maybe I'll turn it around on which way. But anyway, it's it's just it's a, actually a pretty good picture of an old man. <laughs> but anyway, she sent me three of these, and I will. What I'll do, either around Christmas or sometime, is I will just send these to my boys, grandson and sons, and uh, they can do with them as they wish. I'm not going to attach any note. I'm not going to say, hey guys, look at this or anything. It's just going to come in, and there's going to be a picture of me. And they can take it and throw it in the trash or they can put it where they want to their choice okay and having said that but see that's another uh one of those things i'm talking about you know there's people that think of things like somebody she probably thought of that and and uh you know and, and then did it okay and you know because it took a little time and effort to do that and get the frame and do all the stuff and you know write the letter and then pay for postage and all that that's a lot of effort okay and i don't think that goes unnoticed i noticed stuff like that because, uh, you know, I, I'm a lone wolf and, uh, you know, I've been called selfish and all kind of stuff. And it's not because I'm selfish. It's because I choose a lifestyle that's different from most people. You know, I don't mind living alone. Am I lonely? No. But uh, uh, it's just the way I am. And possibly it's because the way I grew up in my younger years. My, I had uh, two sisters and a brother, all older than me. Uh, my one sister was four years older than me, and then I had twin brother and sister that were, uh, they were not identical twins, they were fraternal or whatever you call it. But anyway, uh, they were six years older than me, so, you know, my early years out on the farm in the middle of nowhere, there were no kids to play with. I had a dog, a collie dog named Bill, and, but for about four or five years there, uh, I mean, I was there by myself, and I just, made myself my own best i lived right here okay that was my home that was where my buddies were and i got good at it and so i guess i've continued that and, and I, I like to be around people don't get me wrong i'm not totally a hermit but anyway <laughs> this is crap isn't it? beer 30 you like that anyway so having said that now we'll move on to this bucket that's doing double duty guys because this is the bucket that i heat my bleach water in to do my keratosis on my back and stuff but anyway it's also serving as the bucket of honor and uh, used to be just a regular old bucket boy this thing is working hard I'm telling you but anyway so into the bucket we will put this and where's the other thing right here and this like this so now they are honored in the bucket of honor okay how about that guys they're in there there's the letter that's really cute i mean i really do appreciate that you know i mean i mean i i do things for people i mean i you know like my boys or something you know, if, if they need money and i have it I, as long as i have money everybody's got money that's why i don't ever have any because i give it all away i don't give it away i just you know if they need something i just take care of it like i just see that it's done you got me and i don't need much and what you know my needs are very simple and uh that's it so having said that, and somebody also suggested that I should put my mailing address in, in all of the descriptions of my videos. If I think about it, I will. But if you, if you, if you think you're going to mail something to me in the future or at some point, just put it in your address book because I may forget. And, you know, if you don't want to go to the trouble of going back to some of those old videos where I had the signs behind me, uh, well, you know, you don't have to do that. But just remember, it's really easy. Just send it to Rusty. Uh, P.O. Box 1446 Kingsland, Texas, Kingsland, one word, Texas 78639. And I'll get it. I'll get it even if I'm traveling because uh, either I'll have it forwarded or I'll get it when I get back. And they'll hold the mail at that P.O. Box as long as I have the box rent paid. All right. And if I ever close the box, uh, they will forward the mail to my home address. Uh, for one year, no charge. Okay, so you know it's it's covered. So if you send something, I'll get it. So having said that, from Central Texas, USA, thanking Rhonda and whoever sent me the shirt, a whole lot. 
because uh, <laughs> thank you I do appreciate it that's a big deal with me guys I mean you know I, I don't get gifts you know that I, I don't get gifts okay at Christmas I don't get gifts none none I don't even get Christmas cards okay except from you guys that's the truth the only thing I get in the way of gifts or letters or cards is from you guys and that's it it is other than that I get a text or two from uh, my oldest boy every now and then and he calls every now and then. he'll call maybe once a week he's pretty good and the youngest son once every three or four months uh, he'll call uh, my grandson zero uh, he did for a while and uh, then after he got out of high school and kind of got rolling a little bit and the girls got involved phew, you got me and that's the way it is do I, I feel bad about that no I'm happy because if he was calling me all the time I think he was a weirdo you know any of them but anyway having said that thank you again Rhonda and whoever for the shirt and the pictures you are in the bucket of honor so thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye from central texas usa this is uh what else buy usa when you can drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you <laughs> well water is yes. it's 95 percent water almost so that's close uh drinking a lot of water will help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll help you lose weight how because you'll feel full. You'll also get full of this, but the only thing bad about beer is it also increases your appetite. You get the munchies and boo, you know what I mean? And what else? Um, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out through your mouth. Why? Because it relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. And lowering your blood pressure is good for you. Everybody knows that. And there's a number of reasons, but be that as it may, just do it. In, out. You know, in through your nose, out through your mouth, sit deep, you know, and hold it for a few seconds, and, and then stretch, you know, stretch, 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 swing those arms, you know, walk, 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 whatever, you know, just keep busy, and, you know, don't sit down for too long, I mean, if you're sitting there watching a m movie, uh, you know, about every 30 minutes or so, get up and stretch a little bit, and swing your arms and stuff, and get, believe me, it helps, guys, I'm telling you, that a sedentary lifestyle, as in sitting on your double A-S, whatever it is, thing, uh, the, your rear, uh, is is a death lifestyle that's a death spiral so get out of it but also also for you guys that use the Amazon link uh, thank you very much uh, it helps uh, it, it, it's in every description you click on it and go to Amazon whatever you buy I get a small commission cost you nothing nothing check it out but anyway thank you thank you enjoy your weekend bye bye guys